Last year at the European Open, we saw one of the best battles maybe ever in disc golf. This year, the same event did not disappoint. Now, it wasn't the same stars battling it out. This time, it was some of the best up and coming talent the sport has. But without the experience came a downfall for one player as another rose up. The whole tournament, these guys battled, but it came down to just the final stretch that determined the winner. Some players can handle the pressure, others can't. But before we hop into the video, we're going to check out today's sponsor, Elevation Discs. If you haven't thrown an Elevation Discs yet, you are certainly missing out. One of the most unique disc golf brands out there. This disc golf company doesn't use plastics. Instead, they use rubber materials to make disc golf discs. These rubber discs are super floppy and stop on a dime. Very useful for anyone's short game. Elevation's newest disc is the Glow G Arowana, a stable flying putter and personally my favorite in the Elevation Disc lineup but they have plenty more to offer like the Binks and Gecko, the Interceptor, and the counterpart to the Arowana, the Koi. Go check out their website using the link in the description and use code RM10 for 10% off your next purchase. As a quick refresher for the European Open last year, Paul Macbeth and Eagle McMahon completely ran away with the event. It was an incredible battle that came down to the final hole. But that's not quite what happened this year. Macbeth was not in contention and would end up pulling out. Eagle was, but in the end, the spotlight wouldn't be on him. It would be on the up-and-coming talent of Anthony Barella, who, heading into the final round, was in second place by two shots. Corey Ellis, who was three shots back to start the day, and finally, Kyle Klein, who was four shots back. Now for the leader heading into that faded final round, Calvin Heinberg wouldn't play terrible, he just couldn't get anything started. By the time he heated up, it was way too late. As the guys at the top started their back nine, it was clear who was in contention. Barella was at the top, with Klein and Ellis right behind him. Ezra Ayerhold was in it until he doubled hole 11, which was too much to come back from. As the back nine went on, it was clear where the advantage would lie keeping it in bounds, one of, if not the most important things, at the beast in Finland. Keep it in play, that's what you need to do to get the job done. We go to hole 16, par 4, with a special twist. First, you need to hit the landing zone off the tee, then from there, you need to make the island green. If you don't, you're out of bounds, and you rethrow from your original spot. Anthony Barella is at 32 under, Corey Ellis one shot back at 31 under. Both safe in the fairway, here's Barella on the approach shot for hole 16. He goes long. It is not out of bounds. This is a bunker rule hole. It is just one stroke. But now the questions swirling in his mind. Third shot for Barella. This is a must make if he wants to win this tournament. He's got to stick this close, get his par, and move on. Angle looks a little better. The speed is correct, is the question. Long again. Oof. Back to the forehand. That is wide and deep and into the gallery. He could be watching this tournament fly past the island out of his fingertips. His fifth. Speed is better. Angle better. Still long. Anthony Barella. Oh my goodness. He goes long again. Oh, Anthony Barella going 10 cup here at the 16th. Barella can't make the island. Finally. Finally, yes. Whoa. I imagine Anthony Barella's heart has dropped down towards his ankles. Disc golf blowups happen so fast. Just a couple minutes later, Barella is completely out of the picture. Now we turn to Ellis. The crazy thing, he has the same shot. He has to commit to it and hit this island. Time to clutch up and could be in the driver's seat. Ellis. He's laid up this hole for par every time. He's going, going for it. This needs to fade. This needs to fade. <laughs> On the green. In time for Corey Ellis. Staring your down birdie. Leader. Putting for birdie. 
Popped the wife's Lucy hand a little too hard there. Barella would finish the hole with a quadruple bogey. Ellis instead would now be in the lead by two shots with two holes to play. Sadly for Barella, the OBs wouldn't stop there. Hole 17 off the tee, he would go out of bounds. And same thing for 18, he just fell apart. He did save the par in 18, but at that point it was way too late. But for Ellis, he was in control now. But the pressure has conquered him in the past before. If we take a quick moment to remember the 2022 season, Ellis threw it out of bounds on the first playoff hole against Calvin Heinberg at the Great Lakes Open. Then at the MVP Open, when he was in the driver's seat, he would throw it out of bounds on his approach shot on the final hole to lose to Simon Lazat. Two moments that as a player, either Corey Ellis can learn from or can let it control him. Hole 17, tricky par three. This is his tournament to win. Here we go. A birdie here would be massive for Corey Ellis trying to play the hyzer to flip. This has got to get a little negative. There it is. That may have just saved him. Sit down now. Corey Ellis, man, look at you, dude. Fearless. Whoa. After that amazing birdie, he still had two shot lead for hole 18. He would make a great drive off the tee and put himself in position to make the par. Klein would make birdie, trying his best, but in the end, he would be one shot short. Here's Ellis' putt for the win. First ever major title championship. Been before, but it's Corey Ellis who wins his first major here at the European Open. anybody's race anybody's tournament pretty much coming into this final round and you came out on top you finished phenomenally and you tapped in stress-free for your first major victory give us the initial emotion uh shock i uh, i can't believe that i'm even here all these people it's an incredible we have to talk about that a little bit more. I mean, this is your first time coming to Europe and you had a little bit of time to practice the course, but obviously not as much as you probably would like for a major title. You came in probably least experienced out of a lot of these experienced pros coming over here year after year. Uh, what worked for you out here? Uh, I think that the woods remind me a lot of home. You know, the tight woods, weird hills and elevation changes. And I think just focusing off getting tee shots off and sticking to my game plan the whole weekend just that's what really sealed it well you watched anthony have a rough hole number 16 and you were coincidentally the one who threw directly after him uh in in relation to all the pressure pack shots that you've thrown in your career how did you feel stepping up to that lie on 16. uh none honestly because i told myself i've thrown the shot a million times and there's nothing different besides some hay bells there so just execute your shot with your zone that you've done and I pulled it off. Well, I'm going to be honest. When I saw that Ellis was in the driver's seat, I was worried. He's got so much talent and potential. Overall game, he's an incredible putter, but the pressure has got to him at the big moments. But the European Open? Only a couple bigger moments in disc golf than that. It's a big stage. The European disc golf fans showed up. So when he conquered those demons and got the win, it was really special to watch. An emotional interview, Brian Earhart did such a great job with him. In contrast to the winner, Anthony Barella failed pretty big. Hole 16 is going to be a memorable hole, probably for a while. I don't think the fans are going to forget it anytime soon. The future is always going to be interesting for these up-and-coming talent. Ellis has had some really close calls before, but this time, he's able to pull it off. Barella is in the same spot Ellis was before this event. He's had moments, some really good rounds, but just can't seem to clutch it up on that finishing stretch. But disc golf is a redemptive sport. These guys aren't going anywhere and will have many more chances to come and close out an event. Make sure to check out Elevation Discs and the brand new Glow G Arowana. Use the link in the description and use code RM10 at checkout for 10% off your next order. All right, we will see you guys next time. Cheers.